Hello, let's look for some more, more values of x today between 0 and 2 pi. So we're looking for x in radians. And we know that the cosecant of x is equal to 5. So, OK, remember that cosecant is 1 over sine x. That's equal to 5. So I can cross multiply here. And 1 fifth is going to be equal to sine of x. That kind of looks like an s, but it's a 5. Um, which means that, okay, sine of x is just basically 0 0.2. All right, so given that sine of x is positive 0 0.2, positive 0 0.2, what quadrants are our answers going to be on? Well, here everything's positive, so in the first quadrant, and in the second quadrant where sine is positive also. Sine is negative in the third and the fourth quadrant, because only tangent is positive here, only cosine is positive here. You guys know that already. And okay, so let's find x. And to do that, I'm going to use my calculator and plug in sine to the negative 1 of 0 0.2. Let's find that out. So negative 1 of 0.2 gives us 0 0.201. Of course, if I had the calculator in degrees, um, in degree mode, the answer would be 11.53 degrees. But we're not interested in that because I want to want an answer in radians. Okay, so we already have the first answer in the first quadrant, which is 0 0.201. Now I want an answer in the second quadrant. And this angle is also going to measure 0 0.201, but we want the angle in standard position right here. So how can we calculate that? Simple. We're just going to have to subtract it from pi, because it's in the second quadrant. Okay, oops, I don't want to write in red. So pi minus 0 0.201 equals point two oh sorry I'm plugging into my calculator and I'm taking my time. There we go. Two point nine four oh therefore x is gonna be equal to zero point two oh one and two point nine four oh hopefully that made great sense. If not Please check out a couple more similar videos, and it will all come together. Thank you.